I'm Dr. Orion Taraban, and this is PsychAx, Better Living Through Psychology. And the topic of today's short talk is find your dark horse. So this one is for the ladies. Today I'm going to be talking about an effective mate selection strategy for straight women. So what do women generally find attractive in men? Success, status, resources, competence, confidence. These traits signal the ability to provide and protect and also offer a place in society. Sounds good, right? The issue is that under most circumstances, it takes a very, very, very long time for most men to achieve these things if they ever do. We can kind of call the men who do the winners in the race of life. They've crossed the finish line and they're kind of in the winner's circle. Now, according to Tinder, which actually does a lot of interesting research with its data, the top 78% of women, the vast majority of women, are competing for the top 20% of men. That's a four to one ratio. And the ratio only gets more ludicrously lopsided the further up the male hierarchy you go. This means that, to continue my metaphor, most of you women are more or less hanging out at the winner's circle, trying to attract the attention of the men who make it that far. And, you know, this makes a certain sense, because if he's gotten that far, he probably has many of the attributes that you might be looking for. But it's also easy to see the liability in this approach. How many other women are hanging out at the winner's circle? Four? Ten? A hundred? Now, the question becomes, why would the man want to pick you? over the other four, 10, 100, because a guy who crosses the finish line kind of gets his choice of the women who are waiting for him there. So this is a good strategy in theory, but it only works if you can be fairly confident that you can out-compete the other women who might be doing the same thing. And the better the man, the worse your odds will be. In my opinion, women, a better strategy is for you to find your dark horse. A dark horse is a racing term for an underdog performer who ends up winning the race. To do this, you have to become a bit of a sleuth and you have to learn about men. What do bookies do before a race? They do research. They look at past performance. They check the pedigree. They examine the forelocks. They consider the stride. They check out the teeth. I mean, you get the idea. You got to do some investigation and I'm going to help you one of the best things to check for is whether he has a detailed and reality-based plan for the future. This is a very good thing to see when you're looking for a dark horse. So learn about men, do some due diligence, and place your bet before the race is run. Now, obviously, this is a bit of a gamble, but so is hanging out in the winner's circle. If there are nine other women there, you have a 10% chance of bagging the dude. And if there's 99 other women there, forget about it. Contrast that with the dark horse. What are his odds of going the distance? They might be better than 1 in 10. Almost certainly better than 1 in 100. Do you see what I'm getting at? This is a more reliable way of ending up with a winner, provided you know what you're looking for. So ladies, your best bet is to actually find a guy who hasn't won yet, but who has the attributes of a future winner. Then you get all the good stuff all to yourself. What do you think? Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. And if you'd like to schedule a consultation, you can reach me at psychaxpodcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.